mean, I don't have a lot. I would just say, yeah, you, it, equity is really an example. It's a choice. We like to say, you know, diversity is just a fact of reality. For all empirical evidence, diversity quotas have not worked over the past 70 years, right? Equity is a choice, though, that executives or leadership make. And it is about balancing the playing field and changing what those criteria are to bring people up. You know, when, even when I talked about, you know, the 27 different types of diversity, I started my career in, <clears throat> in autos. And a senior executive told me if I didn't have a ring on my finger, I was not going to make manager. Right? And I was like 23, so I started wearing a ring, which was crazy. No one wanted to marry me at 23, but um, I'm just lucky anyone wanted to marry me now. But the point is, so equity is a choice. Inclusion is an act, right? So it's a way to get to that equity. I think you build some infrastructure before you can actually implement equitable things. And then belonging is hopefully your end result. So I think per that number you threw out, which is always one I like to bring up, that women are graduating at a higher PIP than us. You know, for the past 40 years, they've been going to school and graduating at a higher PIP than us. When, when I was in school 25 years ago, I think when I got to college, it was an eight to one ratio. And so the question should be, you know, what is that barrier for them growing up into senior management roles? And what we see in the risk management space is now they're all suing us. That $5 billion a year in about 55% of that is retaliation suits, which are illegal since 1972. The other 45% is outright discrimination, right? That, that equals up into a big number. There's another 300 million in, we track an index at inclusion score called non-litigation monetary benefits. These are people who would leave a firm, they get six months of severance, but they leave under counsel. So they get 12 months plus health care, right? That's, that's a claim. Right, so we're gonna see that incentive sort of shift the market over time. And the reality is just, you know, the market changed and there are more of those folks who did not participate previously who are in the workforce that feel entitled to, um, to those leadership roles. So 